Okay, well, you may be asked to solve two simultaneous equations, which in this, in this case, sorry, contain a quadratic. So, as with all simultaneous equations, what we're going to do is we're going to label the first one 1, and the second one 2. Okay, now, to make this easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange equation 1. Okay, so I'm going to take 2y from both sides so that I can write it as x is equal to 5 take away 2y. This allows me to substitute it straight into equation 2. Okay, so sub into so I've got the 3y squared okay, plus 4 times x which is now 5 take away 2y times y is equal to 0 okay, so all I need to do now is multiply that bracket out so I've got 4 times 5 is 20 times by y remember so that's 20y and I've got 4 times minus 2y is minus 8y times by the y so I get minus 8y squared is equal to 0 so I've got the 3y squared I've got minus 8y squared so that makes negative 5y squared plus 20y is equal to 0. Let's divide through by minus 5, okay, just to smarten things up a bit. So we get y squared take away 4y is equal to 0. And now I can factorize, no need to use the quadratic formula here y times y makes the y squared y times minus 4 makes the minus 4y so in order for this equation to be true either y equals 0 or the bracket is 0 so y equals 4 okay so on the occasion where y is 0, so if y is 0, then substitute that into the first equation, for example, we must get that x is 5. Notice how substituting y is 0 into the second equation wouldn't have helped us find out what x is because I would get 3 times 0 squared is 0 plus 4 times x times 0 which would be 0 so 0 equals 0 so it wouldn't have made much sense would it okay so I substitute it into the first equation to find out that x is 5 if on the other hand y is 4 okay then x is, well, I can substitute y is 4 into this, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 take away 3 is 5, so x must be minus 3. Okay, so they are your two solutions to this, to this problem. Okay.